everyone welcome to the show so cassidy hutchinson is spilling all the tea about her time working at the white house under donald trump and it is glorious um as i mentioned last week hutchinson has a new book that's coming out tomorrow actually tuesday and she just sat for an interview with the new york times she sat with an, another few um media outlets as far as i know and she revealed some very disturbing details about her former boss, Mark Meadows, um, or one in particular, I should say. As Trump's chief of staff, Meadows knows where all the bodies are buried. So this is really interesting. According to, to Hutchinson, Meadows burned so many documents in his fireplace that his wife complained about the dry cleaning bills and that she couldn't get the smell of the smoke out of his suits. Hutchinson said that Trump's administration was so paranoid about the quote unquote deep state finding something, they refused to place documents in the daily burn bags, which is customary. Instead, she says that in the final days of Trump's presidency, Meadows used his office fireplace to destroy a ton of documents. And she also described both in the book and in her interview, how she had to go into hiding after she testified before the January 6th Select Committee. So you guys are not going to be shocked to hear um, tr because of Trump's online attacks against her, she was the subject of death threats. So, of course, you know, his rabid followers went after her. Um, pretty sad considering she once, quote, adored Trump. That's a direct quote from her. She said that she had attended a Trump rally back in 2017, and she was so excited. She said she felt an immediate connection to him, everything that he was saying, and she said she felt connected to his audience. Well, fast forward to a Trump rally just prior to the 2020 election, so she had been working in his administration at this point for, I believe, if I'm doing the math correctly, almost two years. She said that she felt the complete opposite. She told the New York Times, quote, I remember thinking, why do I feel so disconnected from everything that's going on? Just looking at everyone, looking at this man on, the st on stage the way I had. But now I'm on the other side of it thinking they're being fooled by him. So remember, that was her thought before the election and before January 6th. So that's her feeling after working for him for under two years. Um, today, Hutchinson describes Trump as, quote, dangerous to our democracy. And she says that although she's still a Republican, she will not vote for Trump in 2024 if he's the nominee. She said, no way. He's too dangerous, not good for the com the country. I mean, I don't know what it's going to take for MAGA to wake up and, and realize what's going on. You have so many of his officials, so many people who worked in his White House, who were brought in by him, who were literally put into positions by Trump, and they are all you know, the honest ones are saying the same thing. He is unfit. He is a danger. He is psychotic. You know, he is disgusting. Um, his former chief of staff, um, John Kelly, said he is an evil man who was literally lusting after his own daughter. And Kelly had to remind him, you are talking about your daughter. He's sick. He is a sick sick bastard and i don't know what it's going to take to wake people up i mean obviously they got to get off of the you know fear news network that's the first thing <laughs> that main line into the fear vein so anyway i will let you know when i hear more i do plan on picking up a copy of her book i want to check it out for myself and read all the juicy details so if i see anything worth mentioning i'll let you all know so thank you all so much for watching and listening Please like this video, share it with others, become a subscriber if you have not already. Many of you watch and you're not subscribed. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> so hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Doesn't harm you. Helps the channel tremendously. Um, if you can donate, that is also a huge help to keep the show going. 
Greatly appreciate it. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.